Hey guys, today we are going to talk about finding the area of a triangle when you're given either side angle side or side side side. So we've used the uh, area formula one half base times height. But if you are given a triangle like this one, where you know side A is 13 inches, B is 15 inches, and C is 71 degrees, area equals base times height isn't quite going to be the easiest way to do it. So there is another formula that says that the area is one half AB sine C. Okay? So when you have side angle side, so this right here is for times when you are given side angle side. So that's two sides and the angle between them. So to find the area, I can do 1 half times 15 times 13 times the sine of the included angle. So half times 15 times 13 times sine 71. And that gives me the area of the triangle. So the area is about 92.19 inches squared. Okay, so we'll do another one. Triangle FGH. Side F is 5 feet. H is 9 feet. And G is 14 degrees. Okay, so once again we have side, angle, side. So we can do the area equals one half, one side times another, times sine of the included angle. So we get about 5.44 feet squared. Okay, so here's triangle DEF. D is 13 inches. Angle D is 109 degrees. And angle E is 51 degrees. Okay, so this time we don't have side angle side. So if we wanted side angle side, we would need to know how long is side F. Well, we can actually get that using the law of sine. So we can do 13 over sine 109 equals side F over the measure of angle F. And to get the measure of angle F, we can do 180 minus the two angles that we already know. So it turns out angle F is 20 degrees. So sine 20. And I can multiply that across and get the length of side F. Okay, so we find that side F is about 4.7 feet, or inches, 4.7 inches. Okay, so now, Right there, we have side angle side. So the area is one half times one side times another times sine of the included angle. So we get an area of about 23.74 inches squared. Okay, so next we have a triangle JKM on which we're going to be given side, side, side. Side J, 5 centimeters. Side K, 7 centimeters. 
and psi m 10 centimeters. Okay, so we do not have any angles. So we can't use this half AB sine C because we don't have an angle. But if I want an angle, how could I get one? I could get one using the law of cosines. Okay, so I can pick whichever angle I want. I'm going to go for angle J. So to find angle J using law of cosines, I've got 5 squared equals 10 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 10 times 7 cosine J. Okay, so I'm going to do some simplifying. I've got 25 equals 100 plus 49 minus 2 times 10 times 7. 10 times 7 is 70 times 2 is 140. So minus 140 cosine J. So I'm going to subtract that 149. Try that again. So I get negative 124. Okay, so that's gone. I'm also just going to go ahead and divide by that negative 140. So that's gone. Okay. Then, to get rid of cosine, I'm going to do arc cosine. And now I've got J all by itself. So arc cosine, and I can put in the negatives or just recognize that those cancel and just do 124 over 40, or over 140. And I've got angle J at 27.66 degrees. And now I've got side, side, side. So I can do area equals one half, 10 times seven times sine 27.66. And instead of putting in 27.66, I could put in this entire decimal just by using the previous answer. So second and negative puts in the previous answer. Might be a little bit more accurate that way. And I get about 16.25 centimeters squared. I'm going to show you another way to do that same triangle. When you are given side, 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 you can use what's called Hero's formula to find the area. So Hero's formula is half, or is the square root of s times s minus one side times s minus another times s minus the third side. What is s? S is half of a plus b plus c, which is the semi-perimeter. Okay, so the first thing from that triangle above would be to find the semi-perimeter. Okay, so the sides were 10, 5, and 7. And I'm going to take half of that. I could put a half out in front or just divide by 2. It's going to give me the same thing. So 10 plus 5 plus 7 divided by 2 is 11. So I've got a semi-perimeter or a half perimeter of 11. So the area is the square root of 11 times 11 minus one side times 11 minus another side times 11 minus the third side.
And to save a little bit of typing here, I could have just put in 11 times 1 times 6 times 4. So I get an area of about 16.25 centimeters squared. Okay? A little bit less work this way maybe, but I get the same area either way. 